Hello and welcome to Trek to Yomi. This is a, well, I don't even know how to really describe it. It's just an absolutely fantastic cinematic experience. And if you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. This is published by Devolver Digital. And usually they always hit the mark in working with developers. They always come with these really amazing experiences. And Trek to Yomi is... Well, it's just amazing. It's one of those that I was having difficulty putting down. And I thought to myself, okay, I've got to do a video. You know, I got to do a video on this. And I couldn't stop playing. I just couldn't stop playing. I wanted to see what would happen in the next scene and the next scene. And then by the time I knew it, I had been playing for, I don't even know, 45 minutes, an hour or something like that. And uh, anyway, we're going to start a new game. And you can play on four different difficulties, but obviously you're going to probably need to, uh, well, uh, complete the game before you get access to the last one there. But I'm going to play on uh, Bushido, as that is uh, normal difficulty, more like. すべての調和を乱し者 邪念を沈めるのだ、ヒロキ。侍ならば心得よ。幾度も同じことを繰り返しております。先生。何故にこうもせればなりませぬか。侍とはいつまでも肩を極めようとするもの。気を散らせばしを見るぞ。今一度始めからだ。はい、先生。手ほどきするは学ぶこと。故に今日は我が先を行こう。まあ、よ、開けよ。Alright, so did you see that little, I suppose you could call it a distortion of sorts. And whenever you see that distortion after coming out of a cinematic, that basically says you can now take control of the character and start moving around. Because that's the funny thing about this game. The cinematics and the cutscenes, they're basically indistinguishable from the actual game, which is just crazy in my opinion. Anyway, basic movement is, of course, WSD. And now we get our basic combos. Now in this game, you are going to be getting upgrades as you progress through it. And there are a variety of collectibles and secrets that you can uncover, which will indeed provide you with some gameplay benefits. And if you can, uh, you know, there are some secrets that will then unlock um, additional power for you, which will make the game easier. But it very much depends on your own skill level how the game uh, really goes, you know, because obviously if you're like me and you generally tend to rush in a lot, then it might be a bit more difficult. But anyway, basic combinations are going to be like so. Then you can hold W in my case and use this. That's another, another combo. And then you can also hold down and that's another one. Then you also have a heavy attack. And you also have to rotate manually, because whenever you go into a combat situation, it is on a 2D plane. There is a free roam mode, and the free roaming happens when you are not in combat. But when you are in combat, it is very much 2D. So in other words, enemies are going to come from behind you, and they're going to come from in front of you, or in front of your character, let's say. And what I have experienced is if an enemy 
attacks you from behind, you're going to take additional damage. At least that's what I've seen. Alright, so we're gonna have to tap here. When you tap, you get a counter attack, and then you are going to have the enemy be left completely open. Unfortunately, I'm not doing this right. Uh, there we go. There we go. That was better. That was a counter attack. That is what you want to do. You want to tap it, not hold it. ヒロキ。無事で俺。愛子様、我々はどういたせばよいでしょうか。父上があれほど案ずるとは気がかりでなりません。何があったのか明らかにせねば、されど先生はこれはお稽古よりも大事でございます。参りましょう。Alright, so if you want to, you can go around the side or through the doors uh, straight into the back area. And there is a training area as well as a collectible that you're going to be able to pick up. The collectible is pretty easy to see because there are little sparkly lights, I guess you could call them, that indicate where a collectible is and you can uh, pick them up. It is a very minimalistic style that they've gone for with the aesthetic of the game, as you could no doubt tell. There's very little UI and very little indication of what you can and cannot interact with, which in my opinion enhances the cinematic effect. And if you are a fan of old samurai movies, then this is definitely going to be something you will enjoy. Anyway, I'm not going to go to the training area right now, and we're going to just head down into the town. You can see here you can move around freely when not in combat, but your weapons will remain sheathed. ひろきだの。あ、愛子様へ一つ手土産でもいかがかな。拙者は。あ、愛子殿は。その。お顔が赤くなっておられますよ。今は先を急ぎましょう。美味しそうではございましたが。and you get little cute interactions like that between the characters. Obviously, there's a mutual attraction between the two kids here. And um, yeah, well, that, I think that's just a very sweet little sentiment that they have going on here. As well as we have this old man here. So you can see that, unfortunately, he has been startled by our sensei running uh, very quickly, obviously, to the, uh, to the gates of the town. And we're going to have to help him now to move his cart. Shotita all right, and uh, yeah, now we are going to get into the sort of minor puzzle elements that you might be experiencing in the game as well. So there we go, we were able to move the cart out of the way, and now we're able to progress onward. And this is the health restoration mechanic as well as stamina, as well as obviously saving your progress. These are little shrines that you'll no doubt encounter along your journey. 
and you can interact with them very easily. ケガはありませんかいや、なんでもね。ただ口惜しいだけで、拙者は三十郎様を見つけなければなりませぬが、戻った際に必ず手助けを。ありがてえが、なんとかするさ。足が手を貸しますんで、ご客人の世話が済ん
Ooh, that was a lovely counter attack right there. I was actually very worried when they got behind and in front of me at the same time. And they were reasonably close because whenever that happens, I always think to myself, oh yes, they're both going to attack me at the same time. But thankfully, my reactions were not that slow. Not this time at least. And there's a collectible and we have increased our health. And uh, that's the kind of thing you're going to be seeing throughout the game. There are these various little things, little secrets and everything that you're going to be able to encounter. And for example, this. <laughs> and there we have it. So we've saved a villager and that is the kind of thing you're going to be able to experience quite often. But not always, as you can see, sometimes you will be rewarded with an upgrade for defeating a new enemy or doing something specific. So it is very, very worthwhile to explore, and it's also worthwhile to play the role that you are given, which is an honorable samurai. <laughs> yeah, so this is the rotation attack. I am very bad at using this. I have never used this before in any fight that I've been in so far, but I realize that it is definitely something that I need to get a little bit better at. I am just very much a case of... I'm one of those players that basically just goes, oh, you know what, I'm going to just defend first and then attack. But if you need to be more offensive, then using the rotation attack is definitely going to be something that you want to incorporate into your repertoire. Anyway... Uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, there's a there's another shrine here that's going to be very useful. There's a bandit in the distance. You see that? You see that bandit right next to the right next to the uh, the camera right there? Do you think I can actually get get over there? Oh no, apparently not. Maybe I can. Uh, it seems like I just need to go forward. All right. And now, having saved this villager, we can now speak to her. Natasama, <laughs> And there we have it. And yes, there you go. As a result of saving the villager, we have now been given some shurikens and we'll be able to use those in combat. It's probably best to use these, in my opinion at least, against hard enemies, or at least against enemies that you are having some difficulties with. Personally, I don't, um, I haven't really had too many difficulties with enemies. The only enemy that I really had a problem with is actually coming up, and you'll see exactly who I'm talking about uh, quite soon, I think. We are almost at the gate. You can see the gate in the distance, which is actually one of the main reasons why I really love this game, because it, it, it literally look look you can see those you see those guys they're riding horses in the distance you can literally see them right over there it provides such a, an immense sense of scope that you are actually this person you are actually Hiroki and you are actually looking across the fields all the way to the main gate of the village and seeing exactly what is happening down there Pretty cool, in my opinion. I, I, I like it at the very least. I mean, I've been I've been following this for a while anyway. Okay, yeah, so let's see what we can do. Ah, yes, there is a collectible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is a collectible in here. There it is. Very obviously seen in the sort of dim lighting inside the building there. And now we have this. Okay, so now this is a bit of a... It's a bit of a puzzle, kind of. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to do this without getting seen. 
But um, generally what you can do is you can try to sneak by here. I, I, I personally don't know how you're supposed to do it. Because here's the thing, what you can actually do is when you have slain the enemies, you can go up this ladder here. And I thought to myself, when I first did this, I thought, oh, look at this, look, I can, I can actually interact with this, and look what you can do. You can literally slash the rope from the pulley mechanism, and then boom, you can lower those logs, or have them fall, in this case. And, uh, well, they're going to hit whoever is beneath it. But, well, obviously at that point you've already slain the bandits. So it doesn't really provide that much of a benefit. But that's what I was kind of wondering about. I, I wonder whether it has something to do with... I don't know whether there's a new game plus. I'm not entirely sure if there's a new game plus or anything like that. But if there is, maybe that is for that. I don't really know. But it would be interesting to find out, nevertheless. And now we're going to have, yes, so as you can see, keep an eye out for secret routes and areas you may find collectibles or even shrines. So, for example, you can go up here or you can go over here. And you can see there's a collectible right there. And my stamina has now been increased as a result of my exploration. And I feel like that is a very cool way to do stat upgrades or attribute upgrades because instead of just you know doing it with experience gain or levels or you know anything like that it is much more of a case of please just enjoy the game explore it and you'll you'll be you'll be rewarded for it even in just minor ways like a stamina increase i mean obviously a stamina increase is pretty good but i wouldn't say that it's going to make you extremely strong in the overall sense of the word. And there we have it. And there we have it, yep. Fantastic. She has now given us an upgrade for our shuriken capacity, so now we have two of them that we can possibly use. I actually wonder whether I can go over here. Can I? No. Seems like this is more of a, a combat area. I actually wonder what happens if I go over to the right here. Ah, there's a shrine. Fantastic. Okay, yeah, so I actually did not do this this time. Or uh, the previous time that I played. And I did not find these bandits. I actually wonder what, uh, well, they were obviously trying to, you know, uh, rob graves, I expect, but I actually wonder what, ah, look at this. So my stamina was increased, and what, what was that? What did I get? Oh, I just got a, just got a new collectible, some lore or something along those lines, maybe some uh, historical thing. I, I'm not entirely sure what, but that is very cool, and uh, that's actually the thing that I'm talking about here. Generally, Exploration is is really the name of the game, apart from the fact that obviously you're experiencing such an am amazingly, uh, shall we say, emotional story. And there we go, he's given us some more shurikens. No doubt they are going to be very, very useful. And here is the final encounter. Oh. 
刀か年葉もいかぬ小僧の手に我が折よりおさなし我が我が父を討ち取りし時よりも参れ刀さばきを見せてみよう力を尽くせ切ろうとは武士の風上にもおけん武士の誇りなど弱く恐れる者どもの大義名分何も知らぬ俗名恐れをなして逃げ出すなら今ぞ恐れの主とは我のことよじじい困りましたたとえお主の命が尽き果てようとも承知いたしましたよし愛子を頼んだぞシシ先生の名を汚すようなことはしませんこの妖術使いのごとし武将まだどのようなものかわからぬそしていかにあのような軍勢を集めたかも明白なるは残忍で容赦なき悪であるということやつの手下は山から影のようにひそかに現れ二つの村があったところには血と灰だけが残りました大官所の助けは間に合いませぬやつが上川村を取れば川を渡り次はこの村我が村よりもまず上川村の者どもを救わねばならんまことにその通りでございますあの村の定めは我が村の定めも同じ上川村の方たちにすぐに知らせ我が村へ迎え入れましょうその上で橋を落としやつらが川を渡れぬようにもし我らが戦議の中失礼いたしますされど何者かが門にて助けを求めておりまする入れてやれ鬼じゃ奴らは鬼じゃいずこのお方か何者にやられたのです教えてくだされ猛者の目をした者たちがいずこからか急に現れ奴らの大将はただただ見届けておった奴らがわしは上川村の者だ何人かで林の中に逃げたが鬼どもが追ってきよったわしの家の者はお悔やみ申します誰か茶と米をこのお方に今すぐに奴らを撃たねばあの村の定めは我が村の定め行き下され敵は姿を現しました私は守りに備えますご武運をお祈りいたしますあなた様
先生の名を汚すようなことはしませぬ上川村の者どもでございます。では、奴の手下どもはすでに川を渡っておる。一刻の猶予もないぞ。森光殿。いざ、参る。And that leads us into the forest, and a new journey will now begin with a slightly more grown up Hiroki. So, if you would like to check out Trek to Yomi, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.